we are at a key thrift center in Lacanto. We have never been here. One of my favorite stores is Key Thrift in Homosassa. So this one's only about 10 minutes away and we are gonna go check it out and see if we can find some things for profit. All right, so when I first walked in this store, it seemed really, really big and it was just jam packed with stuff. First thing I saw were the health and beauty items and you guys know I love to sell health and beauty because it can be super valuable. Unfortunately, theirs were priced pretty high. You can see the Mary Kay there priced at $6 and $8 and that was a little too much. Now, these handkerchiefs that are gorgeous and vintage and embroidered I didn't see a price. I will tell you, I did pick these up. This one still has the sticker on it. They were only a dollar each, and these can sell anywhere from 10 to $20. This one here had a stain on it, unfortunately, so that one I did decide to leave behind. But keep an eye out for vintage hankies. You can normally get them pretty cheap. And then I saw the linens and the pillows were 50% off, which I love. I like this poker placemat, but there was only one, only one placemat. So, and then I saw this vintage Coke pillow. It was only $2. So only a dollar. I did pick that up as well. Now I haven't sold crochet placemats and these didn't have prices. So I was not sure how much they would charge. I was kind of worried they would want like $2 per placemat. And that would just end up being too much. So I did decide to leave those there. Now this doll, I think they had priced at like 15. They had it priced pretty high. So I, I always do look at the toys, but I really, really do not know much. I think probably as Dalton gets a little older, I'll learn a little more. I did see this dinosaur, which Dalton ended up getting. He decided he liked the green one. I was letting him pick which one he would like. Typically, we'll let him get something small at the stores, and that helps him <laughs> be a little more content. Look at all these coffee cups. I saw this Mickey one. I think it was um, Disney Korea. And unfortunately, with me selling all of this to you, I didn't think that would be convenient to ship. That Labrador photo book might have done well, but I couldn't find any comps, so I did decide to leave that one. And these are a bunch of patterns. I see a bunch of cross stitch, and I really haven't seen much pricing here yet. So I'm looking through. I was hoping that they would be cheap, like this holiday sweatshirt. I think I have actually sold that one but they had it priced at two and I think it only sells for about 10. So I didn't get that one. And I was hoping those prices weren't right, that maybe they were from somebody's garage sale or something. But I asked one of the ladies working there and she said they were. So with the cross stitch stuff, you really need to get it at like 50 cents to a dollar typically to be able to do very well profit wise with it. And you always have to dig. You can see how much craft stuff is here. And the little books I typically only will pay like 10 to 15 cents for. I think they had it priced at a dollar. I loved this wrapping paper. I really thought about getting it to have a little happy birthday with the sailboats. But I did decide to leave it there. It was only 80 cents. And then I saw some dog clothes. So you guys know in my last thrifting video, I picked up some dog sweaters. I did not see a price on that dog sweater. And with the cross stitch stuff being priced up, I was kind of scared that these would be priced high. So that one was bonehead. There was some other stuff up there. I saw a price at like five or eight dollars. So I just decided to leave those there because I honestly was just thinking that they were going to price way higher than what would be good for resale. And then tons and tons and tons of collectibles. There's just so much. 
up on the top I saw this really pretty angel however I think she was four dollars and shipping her would be heavy and it would be pretty difficult so I did decide to leave her there and then I saw this really pretty cobalt blue vase on the bottom with iris they had it marked at eight dollars though so at eight dollars I have to take into account when I am thrifting for you that I'm going to have to double the price and having to double that I just wouldn't be able to do that these I was really really on the fence about I feel like they're worth money but I was not able to find any comps they were absolutely beautiful they were five dollars I did attempt to use Google Lens to see if I could identify them unfortunately I couldn't so if anybody knows what these are or the value please let me know and that way if I go back to the store I will be able to pick them up for you this is me just trying with Google Lens but again it unfortunately did not work and then Doreen look this is to Doreen love Lois that bear was four dollars so at eight dollars that wouldn't have any room for profit i like this little glass bulb if you see those for 50 cents or a dollar i would get them they sell for about 12 to 15. that looked like wedgwood but it was made in china and then we are going to check the hats out i think the hats are a dollar i am not sure their pricing in the store wasn't super obvious so I was really unsure these were some dockers so I'm not sure how those sell but I did decide to leave those behind and then I went around the corner and I saw this and it is absolutely amazing and I would have loved to get it it is a vintage Braves jacket but it was priced at $15 so I would have to charge you 30 and that still might be worth it. This might be a $150 jacket. If anybody knows, let me know. I spent probably five minutes researching this because if it was worth that much, I would definitely pick it up for you guys. There was nothing for top of the line Braves. I looked under unsold. I looked under sold. And then I decided I would take the name Braves out and just see if maybe I could find the brand and a similar one. But there was absolutely nothing on this jacket and what sucks is at the other one the boutique is four dollars but that one was marked 15. and then this one really caught my eye it's a raincoat it's very very pretty but it was priced eight dollars so i'm kind of getting disappointed at this point because i'm used to really cheap clothes at the other key thrift and this one seems like they mark stuff quite a bit higher like if this were four dollars i would definitely get it we are going to look it up and i want you guys to look at that and remember it because it is worth money so it was nordic house is the name of it and they sell well for about forty dollars but at eight dollars i just i don't know i might could have picked that up i really think that would sell well if that's there next time i will get it and now we have some artwork and look what they did they wrote on the back with permanent marker now if it's in a plastic bag and they write on it i'm okay with that but i really hate when they destroy nice art prints with a sharpie because whether you're a collector or a reseller no one wants sharpie on the back of their art print i looked those up but they were not worth anything and then i saw these dolls and i spent quite a while i never did figure out what was written on the bottom of them you'll see i think i picked up every single doll because i'm like i got to be able to read at least one of these stamps on the bottom of these dolls and i think they had them for 25 dollars for the set um so that would have been 50 dollars to you and i feel like that was probably a little bit too much and you'll see me here in a minute I'm gonna look them up they were from I believe Peru and I was able to find some of them but they only sold for about I think like 9 to 12 each you're gonna see the comps coming up here soon I absolutely love them if I collected things these are the kind of things that I would collect 
So I'm taking a picture of her with my phone. And we are going to see what we can find. So I found quite a few, but there were only two sold. So we left those. Purses are also half off. I don't know if the store is doing the whole mark stuff up so you can do half off kind of thing. But the prices are definitely higher than what I'm used to seeing at the other key thrift. So it really is catching me off guard here. I saw this purse it was bright bright orange I don't know if it really comes across it was a Costa Mayo and it was really pretty but it was four dollars and I feel like it probably would have been about a fifteen dollar purse so I did leave that now I will tell you I ended up getting this candle you see me I'm sm it's lavender it smells really nice I got it for me not for resale and I didn't charge you guys for it so don't worry I have it in the shed now so let's see what else we can find. Now, this is $2.50. This is a jade tree. It's jade and rose quartz. And my big ones have sold well over $100. I think this should sell for $20 to $30. It might go for more. Sometimes smaller goes for more. So I did pick that up. I hate seeing these big pretty things because I can't pay and ship to you without it being way too much for resale now look at these prices on this stuff so i'm just checking stuff out this is where the nice stuff is these are beautiful green wedgewood bowls look they want fifty dollars fifty dollars fifty dollars so those stayed there now these are bird prints i've done very very well with some bird prints but these I didn't see like a name or a signature on them. So I left them. And then there were some golf clubs. And that's about all at this store. There we are going to head to the other key training thrift. I might just put these two videos together. So you might see some more here in a minute. All right. We are at key thrift number two. Let's go in here and see if we can find more than we did at the last one. All right, so this is my favorite one. And soon as I walked in the door, I found this awesome Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween scrub top. So this should sell for about $15 to $20. It costs three. So not too bad, and I think it'll sell fast. Whoever gets that needs to list it really fast. So, And here, I know the hats are a dollar because I come to this one quite a bit. So I always look through the hats. I do occasionally find some I'm not sure about that one I wasn't familiar with it so we did decide to leave that one there and I'm not sure about that little York that Yorkie might have been a pink hat I have just recently sold a home Sassa hat that is what this one is home Sassa springs with like the faded distress look so for only a dollar we did pick that hat up as well so we have been in the store less than two minutes and have already found two things now the Bronx Zoo, that hat might have been okay. I was kind of on the fence about it, but I did decide to leave it there. And you see me, I'm looking at tags, guys. You always got to look at the tags. That says Noe's Lawn Care. I don't know if there are any Noe's that watch me, but if you're there, let me know and I'll get you that hat. I was picking up the hat I dropped. Dalton's tired, can you tell? All right, so I found some amazing shoes at this thrift store, so I definitely always check out the shoes. Those were Thomas McCann, which I do not believe sells for very much. If I'm incorrect, you shoe people definitely let me know, or if you see something here in these shoes that I missed, because I have learned quite a few brands, but I am definitely still learning the shoe game. Those were really cheap when I picked them up. That's why I put those back. those were very blingy i liked them but the inside was pretty dirty on those dalton's happy he's eating gummy bears by the way that's why he's so chill so i also have found a spartina purse that sold for 60 dollars real fast at this thrift store this is a bagalini which you learned in my last thrift video sells well but that was a five dollars so with 
the the last one I picked up was only two dollars so unfortunately that was a little too high for resale so I did put that one back there's another bagolini and they wanted five dollars so maybe if the purses are half off and those bagolinis are still there next time I go then I will get some bagolini purses because they do sell really well and then I saw this it, it was fighting with me I'm fighting the purse um <laughs> this happy holidays purse really cute excellent condition it was kim rogers and with christmas coming up i thought this might be a really good thing to pick up i could not find a price on it and they do tend to price their purses a little bit high here so i'm gonna look up some comps on that i, I set it on the buggy to look them up and here you can see some sell for like 20 but there are also some as low as six and so i decided to leave that one there shoes we love shoes these fairies are in immaculate condition i really do not feel like they were ever worn they were five dollars and fifty cents i did look up some comps i could not find these exact ones with like the buffalo plaid lining i believe that's a fleece lining these i say at the end these will sell for like 45 or so they could go for more whoever gets these shoes really needs to research them so i do have the number and you can see here some are at 50 some are at 30 but those are in way worse condition and they don't have the fleece lining and especially with winter coming up so there's some sold comps at 50 45 49 there's some at 70 these shoes could go for 75 dollars if if you're able like i i honestly would price them high if it were me i would price them at like 75 80 dollars and put buffalo played fleece line they are size 10 which is an excellent size and i think these shoes will be a great flip And we did put the shoes in the buggy. Dalton zoning out eating gummies. Now we are in the boutique section. Do you see this Lee Sport? This is vintage. It is over 20 years old. It is from the Super Bowl. Really heavy, really nice, and $4. The boutique used to be $3, but they did raise it to 4 But I did pick up that Lee Sport Super Bowl jacket. And I think it should sell for 75 to 100 It might even sell for more. I always look through the boutique sections here. Now we are on to the button-ups. At the store, all of these shirts are a dollar. If they have bright prints, I pick them up because they will sell for typically at least $15. So with me paying a dollar, I'm only charging you two. And this is a Cedar Key. This is another one, the Destination T-shirt Sell. That one, I loved the print on it, but somebody cut the tag out. So I did not get it because we would not know the size. And then I had to leave the shirts. There were way too many people. So we're just checking out the little kitty cats. Um, that's another thing that would be really hard to put into one of these boxes. Now, this Harley Davidson Turvis tumbler is worth money, but do you see the condensation on the bottom unfortunately with that condensation i did not feel comfortable picking it up and then look at this you guys know i love vintage cross stitch it sells fast this one was 350 so i did pick it up and the people left so now we're back in the shirts this is a really cool like light linen pink palm tree shirt the only comps i saw are at nine but there's only one i would price the shirt at twenty dollars and i think it would sell but again we're only paying a dollar so it's only two dollars to you for all of these shirts and then i have sold some campia moda really nice print on that we picked it up and here's another one a batik bay again one dollar only two dollars to you for all of these hawaiian shirts pick that up as well and again watch though just wait somebody cut the tag out again little suckers i love the print on that i love it but without a tag i left it there but this one had a tag and this one is really bright and colorful and has hibiscus and palm fronds so we got that one too 
Guy Harvey shirts have sold well for me. Uh, about $12 to $15. And that one was a dollar, so we picked it up. Now I am looking at the scrubs here. This one was Baby Fat, which is a good brand. But that one seemed really, really short. And I almost felt like it would get returned if somebody purchased it. So I always peek at the scrubs, especially with them being a dollar. And look what I found. Magic 8-Ball. Are we going to find more stuff? It is decidedly so. This bring back some memories, guys. I did leave it there, though. Let's go find more stuff. I love this. It was so heavy, though. It was so heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean like eight pounds heavy. And it was four dollars. I I did decide to leave it there. That is something I might consider if it's still there. Now I am looking at this quilt. If I find a super expensive blanket, I will not be scared to pick it up and ship it to you. But that one was from like Walmart or something. That was not a nice one. And then this bag the leather bag that's actually under my arm right now felt really expensive so we're going to look that brand up it is ricardo beverly hills and we're going to look at the solds now some of them sell for 30 26 but there are also ones low as 16 and 10 so i did decide to leave that and then a party light pumpkin now some discontinued party light can be worth big money. That was marked at $250, so we're going to look it up. And unfortunately, with me having to double, it would be 5 to you, and it looks like these only sell for about 9 to $10. Some at $15, but there were a lot that were lower priced, so I did decide to leave that as well. Ignore my finger. We're in the Christmas stuff, and we're going to find something right now. So, tree skirt cell. This one is brand new. It had never been unwrapped. It was very pretty. I did end up paying four for this, but it should sell for about, I would say, $25. More Christmas. Here, guys, you need to look in the Christmas stuff. Towels sell. I've sold so many pairs of hand towels for $15 to $20, and these are $0.50. Cents. But what I have noticed is that most people do want pairs. So what I'm doing is looking through here to see if I can find pairs of towels. And here is a pair of gingerbread towels. These are vintage, and Christmas is coming. So $0.50 cents each, so only a dollar into those. I did pick those up as well they should sell i would price them probably at twenty dollars if it were me and take offers to like 14 or 15. now this one i found in the drawer and i remembered over here on the shelf there was another one so watch when you're at thrift stores because stuff does get separated these are hand cross stitched noel with poinsettias and again only a dollar we're hunting now we're on the hunt now this is a really thick nicely made stocking and their stockings here are only one dollar i don't really look at the brand when it look at when i look at stockings but like this i would put as like 3d santa claus christmas tree velvet you got to use your keywords to get them to sell but i would list that one at about twenty dollars and we got it for a dollar check the bottom now if there had been more than one of these this is a linux towel you're gonna see here in a second i did look up comps unfortunately there really were no bath towel comps now these are hand towels that you're gonna see here in a minute that have sold for 21 dollars for a set of hand towels so if you had found a pair of bath towels i would have picked them up and you know over here again i am looking for matchy matchies here is one here is a second one i will give you a spoiler alert one of them did not make it into my bag i am not how sure how it disappeared so one of those pink towels is thrown into one of the boxes for free because i cannot find its match i was on the fence about these reindeer but i felt they looked weird almost like they were wearing sunglasses or something and again so these two teddy bears were like different shades it was kind of weird 
And then I saw these spreaders. Some spreaders can sell really well. These, again, were not priced. I figured they probably would have wanted about $4, which would mean I'd, it would be $8 to you. And they only sell for about $10. So I did decide to leave those there. And now the Christmas stockings, again, are a dollar. So I am definitely going to look through to see if I see anything vintage or nice. And this is another really nice 3D velvet tree skirt. This one could go for 30 upwards of maybe 40 $45 if you keyword it well. Again, red velvet 3D snowman. And I was looking for more. I'm not sure what's up with the giant snowman bags. There were a lot of them. I was hoping I would find more tree skirts, but unfortunately I did not. And I'm just browsing through these stockings to see if there's anything nice. Again, their stockings are only a dollar. Ignore looking at my feet. I seriously considered this one, but it was really, really thin and made in China. So I did decide to leave that one. Now, somebody commented on my last video, and I do want to take a moment to say, I do pick up some stuff made in China, but that felt really thin and cheap. Some of those name stockings, if you could, not named, but initialed stockings, if you could get them for 50 cents, I would pick them up because they do sell, but they take a little longer. Dalton is talking on his shoe phone. His phone wouldn't turn on in here, so he was talking on the shoe. Now... I got really, really excited when I saw these. My mom uses an Ot light for quilting. They are super expensive. These bulbs were $3. So I scanned it and then I got really excited. Look, $50 for a bulb, $28 for a bulb. But then do not make this mistake. Do not look at those listed prices. Look at your sold and look, they are only selling for about $15 with free shipping on average. So that actually was a little too much to pay for them. So be very, very careful when looking. And then we're back at the clothes. I went where the people were not. This pair of Nikes is a pair of Nike dry fits for a dollar. You see the buggy's full. The buggy is full at this point. We got a lot of good stuff. Now these shorts, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they are extremely well made. They are thick fabric. They are Sportif USA, and for a dollar, I could not leave them there. I picked them up. They do look like they are new, have never been worn. Now, some of them are listed for 20, 18, 15, um, some of them even as high as 30. There are not many sold, but for a dollar investment, I feel like it is worth it. And here is an up close of Dalton and the camera. In your face, people. In your face. All right. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, these are some motocross racing women's pants. Watch for these if you can find them cheap. I will tell you, unfortunately, they skipped their boutique rule and had them priced at $25. So I am going to look them up because, again, if they're worth, you know, $150, bucks, it's worth it. But unfortunately... They're only worth about $35 to $40. So with me needing to double, not worth it. All right. Looking at the baskets. This little race car one was cute for Dalton, but it actually had a ton of stains. That Give Thanks one had a broken handle. Otherwise, I probably would have picked it up. I wanted to show you guys this really big rattan one. If you see baskets like that, that would sell, but too big for me to ship. It has airplanes. It's not dead planes. It is airplanes. That's airplanes. Is it? No, oh, it's not dead planes. Okay, you don't want it? Yeah, it's dead planes. Do you want it or no? All right, these are flower gathering baskets. I'm also showing you, again, too big for me to ship, but those baskets sell. So watch for that shape of basket because they do very well. Let me see. Put it on like a hat.
All right, my friends. So here is the giant bag from the second key thrift. And here's the teeny weeny little one. So what I'm going to do right now is separate this. And in one second, you're going to see how these boxes are going to be sold. All right. So there are going to be three boxes. Here is box number one. It has a very, very nice pair of Sperry's. They are in almost like new condition. I don't know that they've been worn. I think you should be able to get about 40 or more for these. And then three vintage handkerchiefs. These should sell for 12 to 15. And then this really cool, this has got the glass frame and it is a vintage cross stitch. And then this little tree, I sell big ones for about 100. I'm thinking that'll go for 25 at least. And then there's the vintage Coke pillow and the hat. And this lot here is going to be $31 plus $12 for shipping. So a total of $43. So you sell the Sperry's, the rest of this stuff is all profit. And then this lot is two t-shirts. It's this Guy Harvey, the Cedar Key. There's a pair of Nike pants. There's a pair of shorts. There's an awesome Lee Sport 2001 Super Bowl jacket which is now vintage I would price that at 75 to 100 dollars and then there are four button-up Hawaiian shirts there is one back here nightmare before Christmas Halloween scrub and this second lot is going to be 28 dollars I got this stuff cheap 28 dollars for all of this plus 15 shipping that jacket's gonna make it really really heavy and then lot number three is going to be this Christmas stuff. So there are two pairs of Christmas towels. I'm going to throw this one in for free because I can't find the match. It, I bought it, but it wasn't in the bag. And then there's also this Halloween stocking as well as two really nice Christmas tree skirts. This one is new, but you'll probably have to unwrap it to photograph it. So this lot is only going to be $22 plus $10 in shipping. So here I'm thinking you can probably get, these are, these are cross stitch. So I'm thinking like 15 for this set. You can probably get 12 for the set of gingerbread. Those are vintage. They look like they are. And then the tree skirt should be about 25 to 30 each. And the stocking is like a 3D really heavy one. That one should be like 15. You probably get like five bucks for that. So that is lot number three.